Hello, Earthlings. It's Tuesday, November 6th, 2012, and here in the United States of A, it is Election Day. So my Election Day story starts out pretty well. I was up early. Actually, I never went to sleep, and I was all ready to get my ballot in. I had just had to finish up tying up a few things I was undecided about and getting those marked off. Took a shower, and then fell asleep, because I hadn't slept all night, so blah. And... My alarm didn't go off, and it was terrible, and I was going to get this done early this morning and film this early this morning and encourage you to go vote, too. But, obviously, it is too late in the day now to encourage you to go vote because, well, it's late in the day. Hopefully, you did. So now, I'm on my way to go drop off my ballot in one of the drop boxes because here we don't have in-person polling places, and it's just inconvenient, at least to me, to mail it. Thankfully, they provide... Lovely little drop boxes for election ballots. Alright, so I just dropped my ballot in the box, and I would have gotten a shot of myself doing it, but there were people there working the booth, and a lot of people dropping them off. There was a whole big line of cars, and I didn't want to make them uncomfortable, nor get arrested since this is right by a police station, and there were police cars running around, and I don't actually know if this is illegal or not. To uh, film, that is, people who are in the process of dropping off their ballots. So anyway, now that that is done with, I still want to encourage people to vote next year and every year in the future because it is very important. And unfortunately, there are so, so many people who do not vote. And there are people who don't vote for a lot of different reasons, and quite frankly, I call bullshit on all of them. It generally falls in one of two camps on kind of opposite sides of the I'm not voting spectrum. The first is, well, voting doesn't really matter, I'm not in a swing state, uh, who really cares if one vote doesn't happen, etc., 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 because that, that is just, it's dumb. Because, quite frankly, if all the people who did not vote voted, there would be such a difference. On the other side, you have the people who, like many of my friends, are not voting either as a form of protest or because they believe that somehow the voting system is flawed. And quite frankly, I agree. There's a lot about our voting system which is flawed, especially the Electoral College. But using no system instead of a flawed system just strikes me as incredibly short-sighted and ineffective. I used those words exactly, in fact, when describing people in Portland on November 3rd burning their ballots in protest. It was part of Occupy Portland's Resist Austerity event, and while I agree with the general principle of the protest, and I agree that our our voting system is flawed, as I mentioned, I think that burning a ballot, unless you already have a replacement, is just... it's it's the wrong thing to do. A lot of people have said in response that, well, voting is how they keep us down. Voting is how the system works, and if we vote, we're simply going in and giving them power. No, that is not how it works. Quite frankly, the ominous they that everyone refers to, be it corporations, shadow power in general, or what have you, They don't want you to vote. This is demonstrated by the fact that voter suppression is on the rise. So not voting while other people who want to vote can't, it's just kind of douchey. The one way in which corporate powers and other ominous days have to control us via voting is manipulation of the votes. Because yes, one way various countries around the world and people are controlled is by faking votes, falsifying the the results, and generally manipulating people into, quite frankly, not voting, too. That is... that is how they manipulate us. They manipulate us into not voting. They manipulate us into stopping at voting, believing that is all we can do to get involved. There's so much more that we can all do to make sure that our world runs the way we want it to, whether you and I agree or disagree. That is a truth, a factual fact of factiness. You want your world to run right, you want your country to run right, you want your local area to run right, you have to stay informed and stay involved as much as you possibly can. Now yeah, we all have our lives, and we all gotta pull back and focus on those sometimes, but it's no excuse 
to not stay involved as much as you can when you can. Even if that's just by making stupid little YouTube videos like this one. Or involving yourself in protests, going to town council meetings, city council meetings, etc. Because the people in power who want to stay in power through means which are not legitimate, they don't want you to stay engaged. They don't want you to vote, let alone stay engaged after you vote. So they convince you that voting is the extent of your power and then and then they convince you that voting doesn't matter. And I feel both sides of that non-voting spectrum fall under that manipulation. They both fall victim to that idea that, well, you can't really do much more than voting and voting doesn't matter, so don't even bother. One side of the spectrum at least tries to stay engaged, but still do not participate on the most basic level of power that we have. And a lot of people don't see it as that powerful, so they just don't participate. But again, if everybody who didn't vote, especially everybody who didn't vote who is politically active, just voted, it would make such a big difference. At the very least, it would make a huge dent, enough to make politicians, corporations, and what have you aware that people don't like what's going on. At the very least, we would get more of a representative democracy because people would actually be telling people what they want to represent them. What does represent them and what is the problem with people? Sorry, I've lost coherency because I'm blinding myself with this camera light while I'm trying to walk back in the dark. And I'm getting a lot of the rush hour folks and people going to vote now. Um, looking at me very strangely, and I'm running into things. Gah. So until next time, I'm Adam the Alien. Fare thee well.